Welcome back to Campus 101 and we are still speaking to me and uh, we are going to talk about the effects you know uh, of, of, of cohabiting. Let's start with the studies. I know we talked about it but on a different perspective. Can you do it now? Effect on the study. Okay, so you remember the motive of uh, all of us actually because we are in campus is to study and achieve our academic goals. So for one, once you cohabit, remember the lady has to take responsibility right from morning to evening. And there is fatigue, it comes with it. After long days of working, long hours of working, tomorrow you could be having a cut and you're too tired to even study for it. So that means you'll have to fail. Right. Yeah. It, by, by working you mean doing the laundry, chores, the ditch, Yeah, the, you got the chores, you uh -huh. got to go to class and all the other activities that come with it. This person may tell you, today I want you to do this for me and you feel obliged because actually right from the Bible, women were meant to be submissive to man. So when a guy requests you to do it, you fall short. Well, the, guy, the guys are now on the upper hand. Yeah, that but, is what I'm trying to mean. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, do we find situations where the guy has to work for the money to bring to the house yeah, during well, studies? You know, they are they're also studying, but do we find those cases? Yeah, because nowadays actually you find that guys really hustle harder than we ladies. can find that you may be lacking a thing, and this guy has to go an extra mile and try to bring it home, bring food and lay it on the table. Nowadays you find guys are really starting up businesses, and... The, uh, most of them, I know they do it out of pressure. Either pressure that they have somebody in the house or pressure, the external pressure, they are economically low. So you'll find that, yeah, they really struggle. Okay. That's credit to them. Recently, mm -hmm. there is a girl who got impregnated as a result of cohabitation. So they decided she's a school girl. She's in uh, a secondary school and this guy is in campus. So this lady had to tell the parents that she's already pregnant and they had been cohabiting with this guy. So the parents came and apparently the dad is a pastor. Guess what? The pastor said, Kile mungu ameleta pamoja hakita tenganishwa. This parent literally is supporting their cohabitation thing and is supporting that they should keep the pregnancy and let the child be born. But this pastor also advised this guy that Despite the fact that, that you're still in campus, I'm more than willing to boost you for only two months. So what is this guy supposed to do? This guy has to go out of his way and start something. And recently I really saw him in the streets and I choose a vitu. He really has to bring the, the food home at the end of, of it. Yeah, he has to abscold his classes, but make sure that he does his cuts and his exams. That actually happens. It happens. And do you find situations where, uh, other than that keeping of pregnancy, do you find other situations where they become happy, they, they become happy, they are well off, you know, both parents support, and then, of course, maybe they decide to focus on their studies more and then just move forward? Yeah, there are such situations where a parent can volunteer and tell you, now you've given birth, take care of the baby for only three months, give me the baby I take care of and continue the studies. Those are parents that are really worth in this society. So, so that we can avoid these issues of abortions, we can avoid these issues of uh, deaths, because deaths arise if you are pregnant for me and I'm not willing, I can kill you and oh, we yes. get away with it. Sad state yeah. of affairs. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the other side of the coin. So we've talked about cohabiting and uh, pregnancy, possibly bringing people together. What about pregnancy? Can it act as a diversion, even after if abortion happens, if they decide to do abortion, will the, say, will the man still have desire for her? Okay, if the initiator of the idea of abortion is the guy, he'll still embrace you. But if the guy was to support the pregnancy and then you go on aborting, what else does he have with you? You've okay. lost the connection there. And um, I was thinking of some situation where uh, a guy doesn't trust you, yet he owns you. You know, you can get pregnant and he's like, because yes, of the okay, rise okay. of infidelity is tough and mistrust, he'll, he'll say, that's not my child. What will you do? 
you will just have to keep it and go away or keep it and stay and stay. And it's, it's a very difficult situation because every day you'll get scolded, every day you get psychological torture, every day you're morally, I mean, your spirits are low. It's not a good idea. Uh, there are situations where uh, after the pregnancy and abortion and several abortions, and the guy still dumps you. What happens then? Because at the end of the day, there's the pregnancy and abortion and what leads uh, from... from what recurs from abortion, sometimes it can lead to barrenness. Yeah. But then this person who has been with you all the time and advising you to get rid of the baby, now leaves you. What happens? That, you just have to... I, 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 it's a difficult thing to accept. But you'll have to buy it because that is the world. That is who men are. They really reject you right on your face and you can't do anything about it. And it's, sadly so, it hits worse the ladies. Yeah, it hits the ladies because for a man, he has nothing to lose. A man cannot be barren for that, for that fact. It's you to lose. Okay. Yeah. What about STDs? Talking, uh, talking about sexually transmitted infections and diseases, it's, uh, it's very rare during cohabitation unless the guy is uh, promiscuous or the lady you get but nowadays people have adopted this idea of uh, carrying their uh, condoms yeah and if you find that a lady carries a condom she really values her health and for guys who carry their infidel i mean their they practice infidelity that is what i tend to believe and their motive is yeah to curb the mm -hmm. transmissions okay uh, but but still when you're cohabiting basically uh, married so they don't use most of them don't use protection right yeah uh, okay so let, let's talk about let's talk about the monotony of cohabiting it gets to a time does it get to a time where uh, you've cohabited for long enough until now you feel it's monotonous and decide to move apart yet you're still in a relationship yeah, at times it's so boring. Waking up to the same face, mm -hmm. sleeping to the same face, it becomes boring. So at times you just, actually, I, I, because for you to start cohabiting, it was a mutual agreement. So for this, you should also sit and agree. Because that, at the end of the day, that will be, I mean, you will have gotten a 50-50. Uh, you will have achieved that. And the relationship will still go on. If you really desire to go on, it will. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, it it happens that people get tired of each other. Yeah, you get tired. Okay. Mm. So uh, there's uh, there's uh, the effect of cohabitation that uh, uh, some other suitors may you know it may scare away other suitors that you know I hear you staying with someone. Uh, what <laughs> what happens next? For me, <laughs> yes. if I was to choose cohabitation in that sense, I'd really go for it because of. My feces are there. They're out there and they're really out in their hand. So I'd really, for, for that reason, I'd buy cohabitation because you'll get that protection, yeah, if I can call it. You, these people really target places where they know the person is single. And if once they know that you have a guy, they want to avoid that uh, scaffold with this guy you call yours. But some are really daredevils. They'll really pursue you, no matter how much you'll say, I have 10 guys out there, they'll still come for you. So let's talk about violence, violence in cohabitation. Right, why, why does it happen? Violence, okay, from what I've learned from people who cohabit, the first few times, uh, the period of cohabiting, becomes very peaceful, very romantic, but when you start getting and bored used each, and yeah. used to each other, that is when things come up. You'll find a, a lady begins snooping, and once a lady snoops, already and I feel insecure. So when that comes up, you'll start having fights. Once she snoops, you guy, you're like, why do you have to take charge of my phone? That is my phone. You punch her on her face, and things come up, they regenerate that way, tomorrow you'll find her in the hospital, you'll find her dead because of such issues. Where can a lady run to? <laughs> because you, co you decided to cohabit yeah. without parents' permission. Mm. Now who do you go to when I, I am suddenly, you know, violated, you know, beaten up? 
of course it will be a frustration to the parents too. You'll have to fall back to them and you'll really cause them problems, the unexpected problems, because at the end of it all, you'll have no one to blame. It was your yeah, choice. So. Yeah. So you'll have to pay for it dearly. You, you said you wouldn't go for it. Right. Why? Yet, okay. yet all the odds are for you. Remember, this is Africa and uh, Africans, we have our moral values. We have what we cherish the most. And one, for me, I really cherish uh, chastity. Okay. Right from childhood to where I am and where I'm going, I still cherish that. And I wouldn't want to succumb to uh, influence from the environment. So I, I wouldn't go for it and buy it because it's a sign of moral degradation. How am I going to stand in front of my parents yet I know behind the scenes I'm doing something that is not acceptable. How am I going to go to church and pray and know that I'm really violating the, the, the teachings from the Bible? It's not right. And I wouldn't advise any, any girl child to go for it. It's not a good thing. Just wait for your time. Wait until your finger is put on a ring and then you go for it because that is a permanent cohabitation thing, marriage. Okay. Yeah. So wh what's the way forward? Well, what, how can we help the girls who are just uh, going into first year and don't know which way to go in terms of cohabiting and everything? I, I think we should, we should instill this sense of uh, independence for a lady. You should be independent minded in that I have to be myself from now till then. I have to plan my stuff, I have to have my own things without depending on anyone for maybe protection, as we said, from Mafisi. You should not rely on anyone for material support. You have your parents to cry back okay. on, yeah. So everyone has your back in the society once you're a girl because nowadays our rights are really championed. So if you lack, go to the school, the welfare thing, and they'll suit you. If you lack shopping, go for it. it but when it comes to things matters sex, it's a thing that has encroached the society and you're seen as uh, unsophisticated if you've not had mm -hmm. a sex to debut. And once you succumb to such, such talks and such uh, stuff that arise in the society, you'll fall prey. True. Yeah, so you just have to, as a lady, you have to have that self-respect first. Because mm -hmm. uh, at times, yes, you may respect yourself, mm -hmm. but you don't value um, you don't value other things in the society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, you're trying to tell people to have, to, you're trying to tell girls to have their back and, uh, and you know, just look out for their own interests. Yeah. But what about the guys then? Like, why, why is, are they the ones who initiate the cohabiting? I and really. If, if they are, what are we telling them? <laughs> I really believe that guys initiate cohabitation thing because. Um, in this society, it's them who pursue ladies. It's not a lady who goes out looking for a guy. So for guys, you should style up, and <laughs> yeah, you should know you should know the right time when you should start that. Okay. Despite the fact that some cohabitation uh, thing in a result to a good thing, some get married, some yeah, you get empowered by that woman because uh, behind every man is a successful woman. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a thing that guys should really be on the watch out and should acknowledge the fact that ladies tend to be weak. Yes. Yeah. And once you're pursuing this lady, you should also know her background, know how good, I mean, how well she can be in this, how good she can be in the society and nurture her if you really have to cohabit. Make her be in that world where she she's supposed to be. Okay. Don't kill her dreams. Yeah, okay, thank mm. you. Thank you, Mary. Thank and you too. Uh, thank you very much. We were speaking to Mary and she was talking, we were discussing matters cohabiting and, uh, and basically its effect on the studies and whatnot. So thank you very much viewers for watching Keep It Campus 101. I'm your host, Joanne Mishik.